Today we're going to talk a little bit about the really nice irrigation system that we have here at Meisner Country Club. 20 years ago when I started in this business we didn't have any of this really nice stuff. We didn't have big screen TVs with all of our irrigation systems on it. Everything was actually out in the field and you went to small irrigation clocks on sides of holes and you would turn stuff on manually. Today we're able to have a really in-depth system that controls all of the elect electronics from inside of our office and we can also be doing a lot of this stuff from our telephones and I could even be in California to turn on individual sprinkler heads right here on the golf course in Florida. One of the really neat things about this system is we have our map of the entire golf course right here on the screen. We can zoom in and see each one of these individual sprinkler heads. Each one of them has a specific number whether it's in the rough or the fairway or on the green, the tee, uh, the slope around the green. They all have a specific area that they're intended to water and we can individually control each one of the run times on each one of these sprinkler heads. So if I have a dry spot here, I can bump up the run times on these two heads to make that get a little more water. Or if I have a wet spot there, I can reduce the run times. Really, really neat system that just gives you a lot more control. One of the, one of the big advancements in irrigation is we've gone to a smaller head, but we use a lot more of them. The reason being we're trying to limit how much water is blown away by the wind and we're also trying to make sure that we get the right amount of coverage and the most uniform distribution of the water. This system allows us to get really, really intricate with that distribution. The other thing it does is it tracks how many minutes are running throughout the day, like if the guys are turning on some water during the daytime we'll see exactly how much water they ran throughout the day. It'll also tell us if a, the electronic portion of the sprinkler did not run last night. The only thing it doesn't tell us is, yes, the electronics came into the sprinkler, they turned on the sprinkler, but if there's a manual portion inside of that sprinkler that didn't work, it does not know that part. So it does not completely replace the, the man hours that go into the system, but it does give us a whole lot more information and a lot more warnings when the system may or may not be working right. We've gone from uh, about 900 sprinkler heads before renovation to over 1,700 sprinkler heads on the golf course, each individually controlled by this computer system. The really neat thing about the system is it, you can't turn on all of the heads at once, so the computer programs will turn on individual heads throughout the whole property in different areas so that we're not using up too much pressure in one spot and then that way everything runs the, the correct pressure and you get the correct amount of water coming out of each sprinkler head. Usually each sprinkler head puts out about 40 gallons per minute so with 1,700 heads out there we can run anywhere from a half a million to over a million gallons of water just in one night. It's a lot of water uh, but that's what keeps our golf course green and keeps it healthy.